All new at 11, they are some of the toughest members on the police force. And tonight, what's being done to protect police dogs from armed suspects? News 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky went to Ocala to hear how one contribution is getting results to keep canine officers there safe. Well, I asked that question of more than 40 police agencies listed as having a canine unit. Now, most agencies only have about one or two dogs, and in some cases, they have outdated protective gear or none at all. They are trained to track and find, and sometimes to take down a suspect. But one thing any police dog handler will tell you is they often don't know what kind of situation they'll be facing in real life. Canine officers, their main responsibility is to go to all in-progress calls. Officer Gerard T. King Jr. is with the Ocala Police Department K-9 team and has been a handler and trainer for more than 20 years. He recalls his own close call with the suspect hiding in an air vent. When I shined my flashlight, the suspect had a knife in his hand about to stab the dog. And as luck would have it, there was a pipe that this suspect didn't see that hit his wrist and it knocked the knife out of his hand as he was coming down on the dog. Stay back! Stay back! Just last month, Wisconsin police released this body camera footage of a suspect biting a police dog. Stop fighting my dog! And yesterday, one of the dogs was killed trying to track down a runaway suspect in Phoenix. Just last Thursday, a police dog in Massachusetts was shot in the face but survived while his handler, who died, was serving an arrest warrant. These guys put their life on the line every single day, sometimes knowing it, sometimes not knowing that they could be their last day just to save us. Ready to go to work? That's why King says protective vests like this can be lifesavers for both the handler and their canine partner. But Officer King says their older protective gear was just too outdated and weighed down the dog. That's good boy. Thanks to a recent charitable donation, though, the Ocala K-9 unit is going to get lighter protective gear that is expected to get real results for these frontline officers. They will be receiving four bullet and staff protective vests from a charity known as Vested Interest in Canines Incorporated and will be delivered this summer, just in time for the hot Florida weather. And it'll surely give us the upper edge because then we can feel safer putting our partners in situations like that. These guys mean too much to us. Winter Garden, Kissimmee, and Mount Dora are three agencies not currently using the vest because the old ones are too heavy and the new ones are too expensive. Now I checked and the new vests cost about a thousand bucks, are made out of breathable mesh, and weigh about 45 pounds. They also conform to the dog's body. All an agency has to do is apply for a grant to be considered, and anyone can donate to the cause and help get results for their local canine team. Adriana Ivashinsky, News 6.